have a tie for Magnolia and Mayor, uh, Mr. Boyd uh, and Mr. Downs. Um, so our procedure uh, today is going to be, we have a new deck of cards. Uh, we're going to have uh, you both uh, take one, uh, pull a card. The high card then will uh, have a choice to either flip the coin or to call heads or tails. And then, and then <laughs> we're going to let the coin hit the floor. We're not going to hold it if the coin will hit the floor. If in fact you both pick the same card, we'll, we'll do it again. All right. <laughs> Mr. Boyd, we'll let you pick first. Either flip the coin or to call heads or tails. I'm going to call. I'm going to go with heads. All right. Okay. Okay. Mr. Downs, you. The envelope he's pulling this out of has been around for a while. Yeah. 40, 40, 40, 40, 50, 40 almost 50, 50, yeah, 50 years. 50 years. So you'll see there's. The head, this is the head. This is the tail. So you're going to flip it so it hits the floor on the floor. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Heads. Yes. It is. yes. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now, as well, there will be a, a recount in this election. Um, I, you know, we don't anticipate any any issues, but there will be a, an automatic recount. Uh, what are your thoughts on losing the coin flip? I mean, I think it went about as well as it could. Um, it was. Good toss. Uh, I thought they had a fair way of choosing who got to call the toss. We didn't know what that was going to be going in, um, but that worked out fine, and here we are. So it's okay. Would you have chosen heads or tails if you won the high card? Uh, I was going to choose tails. Uh, how's it feeling being so close to winning, but then being one vote short? I mean, it feels like you think it would feel. I mean, it's um, certainly disappointing. Everyone who enters any sort of race, whether they're you know. Um, running a foot race or doing this sort of thing wants to win. I know we're all competitive, um, but it's still going to be a great outcome. Uh, Travis is going to do a good job for us, and I plan to uh, go back to my seat on council, so we'll still be working together and getting stuff done. Yeah, I mean, I was telling these guys earlier, this is certainly a great civics lesson in that every vote really does count, especially in these local races. Uh, when there's a smaller amount of people voting you know, for a certain uh, position, whether it's city council or school board or whatever. Um, so yeah, it's a really uh, good opportunity to highlight how important voting is. ID. Correct. How do you feel about winning the coin toss to be mayor of Magnolia? Uh, it's, a, it's a great feeling. It, it's, a, it's a giant relief, to tell you the truth, that this is over, for sure. I mean, how, how was it being uh, living with the uncertainty of having a deadlock? It was, uh, you know, I probably enjoyed it too much. Um, it, it was great uh, every day getting texts and, and posts on social media of what's going on, uh, given the history of Magnolia, going back. 40 years ago, being in that same situation as it was, you know, you couldn't script anything like that. Uh, I, I would have been just as fine winning and, or losing. I mean, of course, I'm very satisfied to win, but uh, what an opportunity to be part of that story. Uh, that's incredible. No, but what, was, what were you saying you would do if elected as mayor? Well, in, in Magnolia, uh, you understand Magnolia is a very small town. Um, so to go in and say, hey, we're going to create jobs or reduce taxes or uh, build a freeway or uh, get an off-ramp, that doesn't apply down in Magnolia. Uh, what I think Grant and I both want to do is continue on what Mr. Leach built for 40 years and then move it into a, a further direction with more technology, make it a little more efficient and maybe more uh, economic opportunities and, and get the residents involved in some of the government. First, and yep. what's your government experience so far? I took government in high school. 
Uh, I got an A. I, I did real well. Um, Mr. Leach taught that government class. So, um, and, and that's it. That I have no political experience. Oh, okay. Yeah. And and what were your what were your thoughts as the coin was, you know, flying through the air about to land? Please be heads. Please be heads. Uh, be, because I went contrary to what Mr. Leach picked. So I, I wanted to be my own, make my own path. And so, you know, I'm just hoping for heads. How long did it take you to decide to choose heads? Uh, about two seconds. Uh, I didn't have a whole lot of time to think ahead of time. I, I thought we were going to be assigned to side, so I, I didn't really uh, didn't really research that. So uh, when I got the king of king of diamonds, I, I had to make a quick decision. Why heads over tails? Eh, 50 50 shot. Well, 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 what, what, what did you do to campaign? Obviously, you knocked on some doors, or uh, no, I didn't do that. Um, I had a three sentence post on Facebook that said, hey, you know, the rumor is true. I am running for the village of Magnolia mayor. Uh, there'll be no parade, no uh, signs, no posters, no business cards. Appreciate your support. That was it. That was it? You didn't go out? You didn't knock on doors? You didn't go to, re to restaurants or shake hands? Well, or? I went to eat, but uh, not to <laughs> campaign. Yeah.